everyone, my name is Luke. Welcome to this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review. Today, I am discussing with you sleeping bags versus quilts. When it comes to putting together your sleep system, you will have a decision to make between two main options, a sleeping bag or a quilt. Everyone knows what a sleeping bag is, but a quilt may be more of a mystery to some. And that's because quilts are just now coming back into popularity. They've been around for decades and decades, but only now are they becoming a very popular option for backpackers. Right here we have a sleeping bag. It has a hood and it has insulation on the front, on the sides, and also on the back. This is a quilt. There's no hood and check this out. There is no back. You have insulation at the feet, on the sides, and on the front over your body. That's it. Those are the basic differences between a sleeping bag and a quilt, but it goes a little bit further than that. With a sleeping bag, you have full protection, insulation all the way around you. You typically have a zipper either on the front or on the side. Think of a quilt as being much more minimal. There are no zippers. You have three sides of insulation, no hood as mentioned before. And when it comes to a foot box, some may have one sewn in, some may feature snaps, and some may feature a draw pool. With these two options, let's focus on the importance of sleeping pads. When you lay on a sleeping bag, you compress that fill, and that means that it doesn't keep you as warm as the top layer because it's the loft of a sleeping bag that keeps you warm. But nonetheless, you do have that material, you are laying on it, it's keeping you a little bit warmer, and then you have your sleeping pad. With a quilt, things are very much different because you have no back. That means that you are relying 100% on the power, the R value of your sleeping pad to keep you warm. That is a huge difference between these two. Whereas a sleeping bag is a little bit more forgiving in terms of your sleeping pad, a quilt is not forgiving at all. So if you plan to take a quilt out in cold conditions, you really need to have a top of the line sleeping pad. Since we have sleeping bags going head to head with quilts, let's talk about the different types of sleeping bags that are out on the market. In terms of design, you have the mummy bag, which goes all the way up. You have the hood, you stay nice and snug inside of a mummy bag. Now there are pros and cons to this. First off, as far as pros go, with a mummy bag, you tend to stay warmer because you have that insulation right next to your body, right next to your skin. And also because it's so snug, you're cutting weight. The biggest con to a mummy bag is that it's very constrictive. There's not much space to move around. And if you toss and turn, it can get twisted up. Next up, there are rectangular sleeping bags out on the market. These bags offer you plenty of space to sprawl out, to move around. You can stretch out your arms, you could stretch out your legs, and generally they can be completely unzipped and act as a comforter. With these type of sleeping bags, they do not feature a hood. Next up, there are semi-rectangular sleeping bags. Think of these as a cross between the two types of sleeping bags that I've mentioned already. You have mummy and rectangular, it's just a little bit larger in every single way. They offer you more space. They're a little bit heavier, a little bit less warm, but warmer than a rectangular sleeping bag. There are two other types of sleeping bags out on the market. There's doubles for couples, and there's also children's size sleeping bags. And now that we've talked about the different types of sleeping bags, let's talk about the seasons, because there are three main seasons when it comes to a sleeping bag. You have summer, which is 30 degrees and up. You have three season bags, which is 15 degrees Fahrenheit to 30 degrees Fahrenheit. And you have winter sleeping bags, which is 15 degrees Fahrenheit and below. This classification system also applies to quilts. So we talked about the different styles of sleeping bags. We've talked about the different seasons. Let's talk about insulation. Now, when it comes to a quilt, the main type of insulation that you will find is a type of down. While you can find some quilts that have synthetic insulation, it is uncommon. When it comes to sleeping bags, both installations are very common. You have down and you have synthetic, and there are all sorts of different variants of those. With both types of insulation, there are pros and cons to consider, and let's go over those now, starting with down. Down is very lightweight. It performs very well in the cold. It keeps you very warm. Oftentimes, it will feature a water repellent treatment so that it performs well in wet conditions. It compresses very, very small, but it does feature a longer drying time. Also, it can be extremely expensive especially for the higher grades of down. One of the biggest negatives or cons when it comes to down, not including the price, is that it requires more care. You can't store it stuffed. You really have to be careful with it so that it continues to loft up whenever you need it and so that it keeps its temperature rating. When it comes to synthetic fill, in general, it's very inexpensive. It will keep you warm even when wet, and that's not the case with down in all situations. It really is all about that treatment that's been done to the down itself. Synthetic insulation dries very quickly, requires less care than down. It's not as warm as down. It's much heavier though. And also it doesn't compress as well as down does. The stuff sack is larger. It will take up more space inside of your backpack, 
whereas down will take up less. Between the two options, which is the most popular, without a doubt, that would be a sleeping bag. There are more styles, there's more materials, more insulation types than what you will find with a quilt. Also, with sleeping bags, you will find a greater degree of temperature ratings than you will with a quilt. In terms of pricing, both can be exceptionally expensive. Sleeping bags have a tendency to be a little bit cheaper though. You should be able to find a good sleeping bag at a cheaper price than a quilt with a similar temperature rating. With that being said, I've already started on the pros and cons of each. Let's focus on sleeping bags here for a second, namely the pros. First off, they will be warmer than your average quilt. With a mummy bag specifically, it forms right next to your body. You don't have to worry about drafts and it does keep you warmer. Also, with a sleeping bag, they are much easier to set up. You pull it out of the stuffed sack, you throw it out, you put it on top of your sleeping pad, and you're good to go. That is not the case with a quilt in some situations. Also with sleeping bags, they tend to have hoods, they have pockets, they have draft collars along the zippers, and some even have sleeping pad attachment points. That feature is still somewhat uncommon with sleeping bags, whereas with quilts, it's a mainstay feature. I'm sure you're wondering what about the cons? Well, first off, sleeping bags are heavier than quilts. With most sleeping bags out on the market being a mummy style, you will be more confined in a sleeping bag than a quilt. Also, with your average sleeping bag, you will get twisted up in it if you toss and turn like I do. I've had many mornings where I've woken up and I've had the sleeping bag absolutely just twisted up and that is something that will happen if you toss and turn like I do. They require more space inside of your backpack and it can be more difficult to ventilate your legs in a sleeping bag. So now everyone, let's talk about the pros when it comes to a quilt. And first off, we have to talk about weight. Quilts are very, very, very lightweight, especially when you compare it to your average mummy sleeping bag. Not only are they lightweight, but they are very compressible and they take up much less space inside of your backpack. They can offer you lots of ventilation and also use options. You can use these in a wider range of temperatures than you can a sleeping bag. In cold weather, you have it nice and close and tight. In warm weather, you open it up and just lay it on top of you. It offers you quite a bit of versatility, which you will not get with your average sleeping bag. Because of the design, it is easier to toss and turn inside of a quilt than a sleeping bag. Another huge pro for a quilt is that you can have them made for your specifications. It could be as long as you need it, as short as you need it. It could be as warm as you need it. In other words, you carry with you what you need and not what you don't. Another huge pro is that you don't have to worry about any zippers getting caught, no frustrations there. Also, because most quilts are custom made, you can have them look any way that you want to with any sort of color combination that you want or material or fill. It's your way and that's pretty nice. And that means that you can have a black interior and an OD green exterior if that's something that you want. Lastly, when it comes to the pros, with some quilts, they can be used as a top quilt or as a bottom quilt with your hammock, which is very nice. You have that versatility. Now that's not true with all quilts. For an example, this one here, it snaps down to here, but the rest is sewn. But there are many quilts out on the market that feature different types of foot boxes. Some that feature snaps, some that have draw pulls, and so on. When it comes to the cons, we have to talk about price. With your average quilt, it will be more expensive than your average sleeping bag. Now, for the money, there are aspects that you need to consider. First off, most quilts are handmade in the United States, so there is that aspect. Whereas most sleeping bags are not made in the United States. Because a quilt offers you more space to move around, it's not as warm as a sleeping bag. Because there is no back to a quilt, you do have to be concerned about drafts. They will happen, and even with the best of sleeping pads. And also, they can be more complicated to set up, especially when you have to attach the quilt to the sleeping pad. And this is something that you will have to do in colder conditions. In warmer weather, it's no big deal. But again, in cold weather, it is. With this quilt here, you have loops on both sides of the opening here. And these are attached via a string, and that string goes around your sleeping pad. And that holds the quilt in place and also the pad so that you can toss and turn all night long and you do not get twisted up. That's a super nice feature, but again, it's not perfect because it does take time to set that up. And also, it is a little bit drafty as you move around. If you're considering a quilt for your adventures, make sure to get an adequate sleeping pad for your adventures so that you're not cold. Without a doubt, everyone, I have said a lot when it comes to sleeping bags and quilts. So here is my perspective. This is my philosophy of use with both. For myself, I like both sleeping bags and quilts, but at different times of the year. For the warmer months, nothing beats a quilt. Nothing beats that versatility of being able to wrap up when you're cold or to just basically pull it off of you when you're not. You can have it nice and loose on those warm nights or again, nice and tight on the cold ones. 
But when it gets colder, I want a mummy sleeping bag. Generally below 25 degrees, I wanna go with a sleeping bag. I stay warmer, I don't have to worry about the drafts. Generally, on cold nights, I sleep better with a sleeping bag than I do a quilt. And for myself, those are my preferences in regards to my sleep systems. So there you have it, everyone. We have sleeping bags versus quilts. Which one wins? In my opinion, neither. It's all about using the right tool for the job, the right piece of equipment at the right time. Do keep in mind that everyone's preferences are different. Mine may not apply to you, but for myself, Warm weather into cool weather, cold weather, oh yeah. Comment down below, share your thoughts. Which one do you prefer, quilt or sleeping bag? If you have any questions, email me. Until next time, everyone, take care, strength and honor. Bye.